This is going to be a video on the McMurray's test for meniscal damage. According to research done by Blythe et al. in 2015, the diagnostic accuracy of this test was as low as 63%, which means that only 63% of all the patients were correctly diagnosed by musculoskeletal clinicians. To conduct this test, have your patient in supine lying position with the tested knee fully flexed. Then, rotate the tibia medially and bring the knee into extension. You want to repeat this process a couple of times with a different angle of knee flexion in order to test the whole posterior aspect of the lateral meniscus. In order to test the medial meniscus, bring the knee into full flexion and laterally rotate the tibia. The anterior half of the meniscus is not as easily tested with the McMurray test because the pressure on the meniscus is not as high. This test is considered positive if your patient experiences clicking, locking or pain in the knee. Alright guys, this was our video on the McMurray's test. Make sure to also watch the Apple's test and the Tassily test right here that also assess for meniscal damage. This was Kai from Physiotutors. See you next time. Bye.